In this video, I will take you on a journey to explore the picturesque town of Barichar, a hidden gem nested in the heart of Colombia in the Santander department. Known for its colonial architecture, breathtaking landscape, and rich cultural heritage. And I will showcase some of the top sites and attractions first, followed by recommendations on where to eat, where to stay, and tips on how to get there and move around the town. So grab your cameras and let's explore this enchanting Colombian town. Barichara is famous for its well-preserved cobblestone street and colonial architecture, which will transport you back in time. As you stroll through these charming streets, you'll encounter beautiful houses with white walls and red tiled roofs, adorned with vibrant bougainvillea flowers. Every corner offers a new opportunity for a perfect photograph. Colonial houses are perfectly preserved, and that is why walking the streets and discovering little cute balconies, colorful doors, and shutters in the main feature is a joy here. But Barichara is not only visually stunning, but also a hub of artistic expression. The town is home for numerous talented artisans who have mastered the traditional crafts passed down through their generations. From pottery to woodworking and handwoven textile, these skilled artisans infuse their creativity into every piece they create. We actually went inside the Fundación Taller Escuela Barichara, a place where artists have their spot and take classes to create their crafts. But you can also find many crafts for you to purchase at the town main square or in the nearby shops. And like every town in Colombia, Barichara has a representative square. The park is a lively place lined with restaurants and shops selling local handicrafts. And in the park you will also have the Catedral de la Inmaculada Concepción. Built in the 18th century and located in the heart of Barichara, it is a magnificent architectural masterpiece that stands as a testament to the town's rich history and religious heritage. As you step inside, you will be awestruck by the grandeur of the interior, adorned with beautiful altars. In it, it stands the main altar, covered with gold sheets and the ten columns that support the archers. And we were lucky enough to see a wedding happening inside. It was magical. But that's not the only church you'll find there. The Capilla Santa Barbara and its park create a harmonious blend of spirituality and nature, capturing the essence of the town culture and historical roots. And adjacent to the chapel, the park boats a remarkable statue of oxen, symbolizing the town's architectural heritage as they were the ones that carried the materials to build the town. And if you're an adventure seeker, Barichara has plenty to offer as well. The town is surrounded by breathtaking natural landscape, making it a parade for outdoor enthusiasts. You can take a hike along the Camino Real, a nation trail that connects Barichara to the neighboring town of Guani, offering viewpoints of the Chicamocha Canyon along the way. We stopped in several viewpoints across the way and make sure to stop at El Salto del Mico or Monkey Jump viewpoint and you get these amazing views. But it was crowded, so maybe get there earlier with just one to a side. We've seen all the houses here, now it's time to see how they are made. The La Tierra Casa Taller is a captivating workshop in Barichara that offers a unique opportunity to learn about the traditional construction technique known as tapia. Tapia is an ancient method of building using compressed, like soil, a sustainable, eco-friendly approach that has been employed in the regions for centuries. In here, visitors can engage in hands-on workshops guided with skilled artisans who share their knowledge and expertise in tapia constructions. Algunos saben qué es tapia pisada? Tierra pisada. 
Acá en la parte de atrás vamos a ver a observar un ejemplo. Listo, la tapa empieza en un conjunto de tierra semiseca, la cual es compactada. Tiene una medida de 2 metros de largo, 1 de alto y 50 centímetros de ancho. Cada cuadro bloque puede pesar aproximadamente 2 toneladas. Es sismo resistente, da igual forma térmico. Y la esencia de Barichara es el saque de tiempo saque. Desde que se traía con los españoles, hasta el momento acá en Barichara nunca se dejado de construir en tapia pisada. And they also have like little activities for kids who want to paint. And it was really fun to understand how are this house is made. The Barichara Cemetery is a place of tranquility and reflection, located in the outskirts of town. The cemetery is a peaceful sanctuary where visitors can pay their respects and admire the intricate designs of the tombstones. We were impressed by how detailed they were. You can literally contemplate the memories and legacies of those laid to rest. Pues la familia ya era la León Gómez, pero no los, bisabuelos, los bisabuelos y tatarabuelos que nombre tendrían. And where to stay. During our stay in Berchara, we had the pleasure of experiencing the warmth and comfort of the Ikazua Hotel. Nested in the heart of the town, it is charming and it offers a tranquil and inviting atmosphere for weary travelers. So make sure to check the video I actually made for my experience here to get more information about it. And after all that exploration, it is time to indulge in the local cuisine. Barichara is known for its traditional dishes that will tantalize your taste buds. We tried a lot of places, so here's a little of all the places we tried. First, we went to Gladys de Sajunas. It is the undisputed go-to place in Barichara for traditional and satisfying breakfast experience. Then we went to Panaderia Central. For those seeking freshly bread, Made in Barichara, look no further. It is situated in the town's main square. If you want like something for lunch that's super typical, go to El Puntal. It offers a delightful dining experience where visitors can savor the flavor and varieties of local delicacies such as the mute soup, hearty flavors of made up with a variety of meats and vegetables, and the mouth-watering carne oreada. It is like seasoned and dried beef that is a true delight for meat lovers. And with its warm ambience and delicate menu, it is a must visit destination for those seeking an authentic taste of Barichara's culinary heritage. Now, Guadalupe is the ultimate destination for those craving authentic Mexican cuisine. This vibrant restaurant captures the essence of Mexican flavors, offering a diverse menu filled with traditional dishes that will transport you to the streets of Mexico. It was absolutely delicious and the plates were like big, so beware of that. Now we arrive to the Poem. This cozy spot offers a relaxed and inviting atmosphere. It's perfect for enjoying a snack or a light meal accompanied by a selection of exquisite cheeses and a perfectly paired glass of wine. If you're craving like more American food, I will recommend you to go to Gringo Mike's. It was founded by an American entrepreneur in the neighboring town of Hassan Hill like a decade ago, and this plane has gained popularity for its generous portions of delicious food at affordable prices. And if you want a more fancy dinner, I will recommend you to go to Elvia Cocina Local. It is from traditional Colombian delicacies to international fusion dishes. The menu at Elvia is a delightful blend of flavors and creativity, so make sure to see the video I have on my experience there. And not a restaurant, but one of my favorite things to eat anywhere they have it is a green mango, so please have that. And if you want to just grab a quick drink while you're visited, please go to Mr. Vermin's shop and try that traditional y pinto soda. It was really good. And finally, how to get there. So getting to Verichara is an adventure itself. It offers travel a scenic journey through Colombia's Pinterest landscapes. From Bogotá, the capital city, you can embark on a road trip that takes approximately six hours by car. As you drive, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of the Andean mountains and the lush countryside. 
And if you're wondering how to get around the city, the best choice you will have is the iconic tuk-tuks. These three-wheeled vehicles are capable to carrying up to three passengers and have become a popular mode of transportation. With their compact size and nimble maneuverability, tuk-tuks effortlessly navigate the narrow streets and hill carrying up our car. And for a nominal fee of around 4,000 Colombian pesos, that's what they charge us for as three, uh, you can travel aboard the tuk tuk and embark on a delightful adventure, taking picturesque views, can enjoy the scenery and the scenic view of the town. And we actually rented one for the entire morning to transport us to the different destinations that, ha that I have been showing you. And we had Don Pedro acting as our guide, which was super nice. And thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of our tour. The best Colombian town has actually captured the hearts of travelers with its architectural splendor, artistic heritage, and natural wonders. Whether you're seeking an adventure or simply a place to relax and unwind, Barichara has it all. So why wait? Start planning your trip to Barichara and create memories that will last a lifetime. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more captivating journeys like this one. Until next time, happy exploring!